Hey guys, welcome to my... Yep. That's already an issue I have, just to begin with. So let's start off by saying, Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Marvel Legends Marvel's Captain Carter from the What If series. Here we are, out of the packaging right away, taking a look at the packaging. That's where she would be, that's where her shield is. Marvel's Captain Carter from the What If series. You have the Watcher logo on top. Nothing much at the bottom, except for legalese. You have a nice image of Captain Carter on the side and at the back. And you have her bio right there, if you want to read it. You have the other figures from the wave, which I don't think, which I don't know if I'll be getting. But then you can create the Watcher if you do. My figure did not come with the, with the Watcher part. I just bought it without the build a figure piece. Captain Carter, and that is it for the packaging and straight onto the figure. So the figure itself looks really nice. There are some highs and some lows for this figure. First of all, this is all you get in the packaging. So you have the shield and the figure, no extra hands, no other accessories. So let's take a look at her shield first, actually. Let's take a look at her shield first. Her shield is a nice shield that's sort of like akin to the Captain America shield, but you can see it's a lot smaller, which is okay. But it does feel a little bit cheap. You can see the inside of the shield, you have she uses the strap system. You can see how thin it is. It feels like we don't have dollar stores in my country, but it feels like a, a toy from the dollar store. Like an accessory for a toy for a toy in the dollar store. It's very cheap. I don't know if that sound makes any difference, but this feels like there's heft to it. There's thickness to this. This feels like it, it was those thin plastics that will break easily if I just snap it, which, I mean, if I just put a little bit of pressure compared to this, I feel like I'm confident in doing that to this to this shield, but this one, I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not liking the build of the shield personally, but it looks nice. Just posing on your shelf, it looks nice, but that's basically it's shield. So. Onto the figure itself, it looks really good. I haven't seen the show myself personally, so if you could avoid spoilers in the comment section, that would be nice. It is the internet, so can I really avoid it? But it would be nice if you, if you could avoid spoilers down in the comments. I'm only going to take a look at the figure itself. Nice looking figure. You can see the cartoonized version of Hayley Atwell right here. Very well. The paint apps are applied very, very nicely. You can see the hair is stylized very well and it only comes up to the shoulder so the hair doesn't hinder really art articulation at all you can see the high collar right there and the union jack i think that's what you call it right the union jack the british flag symbol etched in there and it's not just painted actually there's it's actually a little bit sculpted in there you can see that there's the red is a little bit raised as opposed to the other pieces and you can see a lot of nice sculpting Ooh, thunder thor you can see a lot of nice sculpting around here you can see the straps going down here with that goes all the way to her back so lots of nice sculpting you can see that the the design goes all the way to the back which is really nice so not much on the arms but that's okay but you can see the pinstriping on the arms, the red pinstriping down there. You can see her gloves are over there. And this is the glove part is a separate piece from the arm, but it's glued in, so you don't have to worry about that falling out. She has her pouches on her belt. Look really clean, look really nice. You can see her pockets are slightly, slightly molded, slightly faded, but it's there. Even on her legs, you can see her pockets are very, very lightly molded, but they are there. Could have been a little bit heavier on the molding of the pa of the pancakes, the pockets, but no complaints there. You have the stripe on the leg. No pins on this figure whatsoever. Down in the boot and to the feet. So yeah, it actually looks like a really nice figure and it feels nice. I feel like they've been using a different material for their Marvel Legends so recently. It's sort of like a, a little bit more of a gummy material, 
but it feels like I feel like it feels like it can take more of a beating if you're playing around with it and you're posing it. And that's what I like my Marvel Legends for to pose around and play with. Now, one of my biggest complaints is that she can't stand for shit. Her feet are sort of in this weird because of that gummy material. It's hard to push it forward and for it to stay there. And there are ratchets inside the foot, which push it back, just like that. So. She is just slightly back balanced. Her center of balance is slightly towards the back. And there's nothing, I mean, there's very little you can do in terms of the feet because that there are two points of ratchet. One is here, one is here. So you can see it's, it's pointed downwards and it's pointed upwards too much. And that frustrates me. She just falls, like it takes forever to make her to let her stand up uh, it's such a nice figure and that's such a big deal breaker especially for you know you have it on the shelf she stands well if you if you can get her to stand don't move her one bit it it'll it'll really okay now she stands great that's all she is but i have to go through the articulation so <laughs> i'm gonna move her um, she doesn't have any extra hands. So I, like I said, this, these are the only accessories. This, this, the only thing that the figure comes with. So she doesn't have any extra hands. So there's one hand that's stuck in this too big of a, of a hole position that you can't really fit anything in it. Unless like you have a, a thicker sword, which is like, say the Wonder Woman sword. So something like that might fit, but then this is for a seven inch scale figure. So most of the Marvel Legends accessories will not really work like Mjolnir will not work but what's funny is so you can see in her hand there's a slit in between like like she just she, like she can do the Spock symbol so if you want if you have like a dagger you can actually like have her hold the dagger kind of like that which is pretty cool I guess I don't know why they didn't do it with the with the pointer finger so that she can do a trigger scenario but you know it's there if you want to use it but you can see Standard Marvel Legends accessory, way too small for her. And I understand this for gripping for, for gripping on the that um, other figure. I, I can't remember the name. The Iron Man sort of Hydra Stomper, the Hydra Stomper figure. But I guess you know I'm not planning it in figure, so I can't really use her with any other accessories. So how does other than the feet? How does she move? Her head is on a ball joint, so, you know, left, right, the hair doesn't really hinder the left and right too much. It does a little bit when she gets to the side, but you don't, don't want her to look too much to the side anyway. Um, doesn't look up at all, looks down more so. Arms go far, out that far. She can rotate her arms. She has a bicep, bicep, bicep so swivel, double jointed elbows. So that's really nice. Both her hands can rotate can rotate like that. In and out. Like that. Her torso has a swivel. Sorry, a ball joint. So you have that range of movement. That far up. Not very much, but you can still see the sculpt goes all the way underneath, which is really cool. Not very much down. So this is actually not very much movement in her torso. No waist swivel at all kicks forward that much back not at all Tor uh, uh, thigh cut double jointed knees can do that far no boot rotation unless it's stuck no I don't think there's boot rotation and those god awful ball those, those god awful feet interesting enough there is this there is also a peg inside right here so there's the peg to the foot a hinge and a peg onto the leg so you can see in here see if you can see that you can see the hinge is straight right now we can turn the hinge so yeah there's actually a hinge in here i don't know if that helps at all it has not so far but it's there if you want it She stands. 
if she stands at around six and almost six and a half around between six and a quarter six and a half inches tall which is very tall for a marvel legends figure but she is a super soldier after all i believe i think that's the premise right putting on her shield here she is with her with our current captain america um sam wilson and steve rogers the worthy cap buck so you can see see that she stands just around the height of Steve Rogers. Maybe a little bit taller if she stands properly. Yeah, she actually stands taller than both of these figures. So that's really cool. I, I, li I like her height. She doesn't stand garishly tall. Um, the reason why I'm taking out the shield is I'm going to... So you can see what they're, what they're like holding their shields, respective shields. So you can see that the, her shield is a lot smaller than Cap's shield, but you know. It's okay. It look it looks nice. She's a slender. She's a more slender figure, and the shield looks proportionally good with her. I don't have any other what if figures, so I'm going to bring in my standard comparison, which is the Green Lantern, John Stewart figure, and the Marvel Legends Iron Man. And you can see, if we bring it down to her eye level, that she stands a little bit shorter than Iron Man, but she can still fit in even with the McFarlane Toys figures. So that's really nice. She's a good height. And look, she's standing, which is pretty freaking cool. So in the end, what do I think of this figure? Honestly, I really enjoy this figure other than the fact that it can't stand. That's such a big deal breaker for me. Yes, I can get a stand, but it's just, you know, posing it on the shelf. I don't want to play around with it just because I know that it's going to fall when I put it back. It's... It sucks because it's a really good figure. I mean, I can get behind the shield not feeling as sturdy as Captain America's shield. It is, after all, you know, it's still a, an action figure a toy, right? So it's okay that it, and it looks nice. So there's no issues with it whatsoever. Although the white trim, I re I'm realizing now, you can see the white trim. But that's okay. It's just the fact that she really can't stand now she does if you get her feet in the right position now she does but any other leg position if i if i move it around a little bit and put her back she's going to fall down and that frustrates me to death look of course now when i'm when i'm reviewing her she stands but yeah so uh i can't i can't get behind that i really can't get behind that otherwise she's a great looking figure um if you're here for looks and you're you know you're going to put her in a shelf and just leave her there then yes by all means go for her she's a really good looking figure but if you're planning to play around with it maybe if you had the, the hydra stomper and you plan to put her on it as well because i feel like there's i think there are peg holes if i saw correctly then maybe she still would look really good i mean she would still work out very well but as on her own just standing there it's her the standing has frustrated me enough for me not to be able to recommend it wholeheartedly which is truly a shame. I like the figure. I like the character. And you can you can hear in, in my rant, like, I could have compressed this. I really want to give this a good score. I, I, run, I really want to give this a recommendation. But personally, the the when an action figure can't stand, it gets really frustrating. So take that into account. Take that into account if you're thinking of purchasing this figure. But otherwise, that's all that I have to say about it. But she still looks cool. And yeah, there you go. Other than that, this is how I'm going to do my extra, my outro. So yeah, if you like this figure, do let me know if you plan to get this. Or if you've already gotten it, let me know your thoughts if you're able to get it to stand. And, and I'm just an idiot for not figuring that out. Leave your comments down below if you'd like. Like this video if you like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. I will be posting more videos. So far, weekly, maybe more than weekly if my job permits me to do so. Other than that... Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.